Welcome back everyone, Toys is here, and I am back yet again for yet another McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse figure. This one is kind of in conjunction with DC Direct, X McFarlane Toys, that sort of dealio. This is in their offshoot from the DC Multiverse line, which is more of a digital sort of thing going on, but it's still a physical figure, and of course, it's Hal Jordan, Green Lantern, and he hails from the Silver Age, which, hey, that's a nice age of comic books, and in looking at the artwork from back in the day, yes, very much that tone, very much Darwin Cook, love that, not so much the 90s where it was a little bit of a costume change, plus you got the whites on the side, the whole Polly Walnuts deal, but yes, through and through, this is very much a Silver Age Green Lantern, and I'm totally stoked on it. However, on the back side of the box, the artwork does not reflect that really at all. Here's the barcode. These are starting to hit Target store shelves and Walmart store shelves, but mine came in from Amazon. So this is going to be an absolute blast. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new McFarlane Toys X DC Direct from their quote-unquote digital collection, even though it's a physical figure, the Silver Age Hal Jordan Green Lantern. So now here's everything taken out of the packaging. And yes, you do get a digital coupon for a digital rendition of the figure. You can do all that if you like. It's not for me. I don't need a digital collection. I like having a bunch of stuff laying around. <laughs> not really, but you get the idea. Green Lantern Hal, he comes with a Green Lantern. Wow, that's interesting. It's nicely done, nicely shaped, nice clear green plastic. Very well done, totally love it. He does have some extra hands. I really like the open hand, not so much the lantern holding gun holding hand. They're still doing that after all this time, but you do get some Green Lantern power effects. We have seen these effects before. There. You know, it's, it's, it's one of those like, yeah, okay, cool. Not so much my thing. Green Lantern, though, the actual figure is quite nice. I like this. I like this a lot. I think that that is a gorgeous head sculpt. Well done. Put a little white there right on the sides of the temples for his poly walnuts do. And you got yourself a 90s parallax going on. But for now, let's just keep him just like this. Love it. I love the green that they've chosen as well. With the black, the white gloves, they even painted the ring. Well, it actually is sculpted. That's a nice little touch. So a sculpted painted ring on this thing, although there's paint every which way on my figure, unfortunately, like this big old thumbprint right there. Of course, right on the front. So if you get a chance to go through a few of these in the store, make sure you get yourself a good looking one. Like I said, mine came in through the mail. So I don't get much of a choice, and I haven't seen them in stores just yet myself, but they are hitting, so if I see another one, I'm probably going to swap it out. You're going to get the same exact articulation you have seen with this body type before. There is nothing new. There is nothing crazy. It's the usual McFarlane Toys articulation. However, I'm looking for specific poses. Like, is he blasting somebody with his power ring? Can you do that pose? Yes, you definitely can. Can you look straight up and with the power ring recite the Green Lantern's oath? Yes, you can definitely do that as well. How do the power effects work? How do they look? <laughs> I would prefer different ones, to be honest with you. Those are just kind of, yeah. But he does hold the lantern really nicely. You can put the ring towards the lantern. You can pose him accordingly. And for that alone... I think it nails all the major Green Lantern Hal Jordan poses, except for a flight stand. They didn't include that, but you do get one. He looks great, just floating there, doing his whole Green Lantern dealio. Now, Green Lantern to me, especially Hal, goes really nice with Flash. Wally West, but this is Barry Allen, but it's close enough and you get the idea, even though the costume... You know what? Green Lantern and the Flash. There you go. Those look pretty cool. Christmas colors. That's just... All kinds of classic DC. That's what I love. Now, in recent DC McFarlane Toys action, we have gotten redos of, well, Kyle Rayner, and we got a new Kilowog, which, yeah, those will go nicely with this Hal Jordan. 
They're all over the place. It's the DC multiverse after all, but it's a pretty decent multiverse to live in with this Hal Jordan and to look at some of the villains like Sinestro and Parallax, of which Hal Jordan eventually becomes Parallax. And I would say, yes, that all goes together nicely. But it is so nice to have a classic Hal. The first Hal that we got, uh, oh I thought it was great at the time. He had a big head and everything else. You know what? I'm glad to have this new Hal Jordan. Let's just say that, especially when you want to pair him up with the other members of the Justice League. And yes, there are other members, but I just thought, well, these look the best going so far. All of the scaling goes pretty well together from Wonder Woman to Batman even though Batman and Hal don't really get along, which I kind of like that rivalry. And then you have Flash and Superman. But one thing I want to point out before we go is that I really enjoy this NECA Toys Hal Jordan figure. I think it's gorgeous. I think it's great. I've always loved this figure. I still love this figure in conjunction with this new McFarlane one. I would say the head portrait is definitely the standout. It's definitely the highlight, but you can see the differences between the costumes both of them are great. Each of them have merits of their own of why I like each in particular one. So no, it doesn't beat the old NECA one, but it's still a great McFarlane DC Multiverse Green Lantern Hal Jordan for the old multiverse shelf. So that is going to wrap it up for my look at the brand new from their DC Direct Digital Collection the Hal Jordan Green Lantern. And no, I'm not going to do a video on the Batman and the Aquaman that comes from this same line. This is the first wave. It's not my thing. I don't think they look good. It's not something I'm going to get. However, later down the road, if I can get myself a Quisp from the Aquaman box, yeah, I'll take that. That's cool. But that Aquaman, that Batman, the Bruce Wayne head, that's not too shabby, but... We're going to stick with Hal on this first wave. So you've heard my thoughts. Now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything Hal Jordan. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, I like how he has that little smirk there. He has a little bit of parallax. I think Hal Jordan works best as parallax. And I like that. After following him for years, he's the good guy. And then he became the bad guy. And he really was a lot more interesting when he was Parallax, that's my two cents. So when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.